Hey, how y'all doing tonight? Tonight here, I am super excited. I just got a brand new toy in the mail. Something I ordered a few days ago. I know I've been doing some of that uh, kind of Asian style cooking or whatever. And I heard some people make some comments. Let me break my walk out. I'm going to get my walk. Well, hey, I decided I need a walk. So I did a lot of research on the internet. Researched the different shapes, different materials, all that sort of thing. What I found out is you know you don't have to spend much money to get a good block the best walks are actually some of the cheapest ones they're the old carbon steel walks these uh the new stainless steel aluminum and all that stuff or the non-stick you'll never get quite a good a meal out of the that as you would a carbon steel so i ended up just getting a carbon steel walk a carbon steel walk and Mine, it's about a 14 inch size. I think that's usually what's to suggest for home use. You know, no bigger than that really. They come in like a, I think a 12, a 14, and a 16. Of course, those big huge ones for restaurant use. But anyway, I got the 14 incher. Here it is right here, okay. Let's get the little wooden handles on there. You can see it's nice and brand new. Or this golf Amazon. This is a Joyce Chin. Pro walk, uh, carbon steel walk, and it's got the rounded bottom. Okay, you notice it's the rounded bottom. Now they make flat bottoms if you have an electric stove or something. You pretty much got to use a flat bottom. I have a gasser, and I ordered a little walk ring to go with it. And that's I really don't need that on my stove because it sits pretty good on, on the grate. But I may use that walk ring to take the grate off, and also I'll use that if I get outside and use my blower burner. Uh, I know a lot of people suggest doing that, but heck, it's just too hot right now to do the blower outside. So, first things first, you've got to season or you've got to clean the wok because it has some oils on there that they put on there to to keep it from rusting during shipping and stuff like that. you got to clean all that off, and then you've got to season the wok just like you season cast iron. So, I'm going to kind of walk you through all that. I've done some research, and we'll see how we get it done. It's going to be cool. First thing it said to do is fill the wok two thirds the way full with water and bring to a bowl for about five to seven minutes, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just this will be the only time you boil water in your wok. By the way, you notice it's kind of sitting lopsided. That's because it has a round with the bottom, but I'll never have this much weight in it really. Uh, also, with this stove, luckily I got a, a range here. My particular range has a burner up in the right front that's 15,000 BTUs. So that's a really high heat burner that's a really good to have even like some really commercial style ranges like the vikings and stuff they're not much more than most of them are 15,000 but they have all 15,000 burners every once in a while you hear something being 17 18,000 but you really have to get up into a wok burner or either an outside burner like fish cookers and stuff like that to get up in the 20 40 50 you know all that kind of stuff so i think this will be all right but we'll see we're just going you know, plug and play with this a little bit. We're going to bring this water to a bowl and it's going to help to melt that oil and that coating on that wok. You now it's been boiling about eight minutes. Go ahead and take it off. We'll put it over here in the sink. And we're going to scrub it. And what I'm going to use to scrub it, I got this, this Brillo pad or SOS pad. I'm going to scrub it down. So we put it down in a little tub of kind of hot, hot water. Scrub it real good with this pad. And what we're doing here is taking all this, uh, let me turn this burn off over here, and burn the house up. Taking all that good, um, that coating off of here. And this is the only time you scour your, your wok like this. I and mean, this is just taking the original coating off of here and getting, uh, getting all that wax, that oil put on the wok. Scour this up work pretty good. This or you can use steel wool. Just happened to be using this thing here. I had it handy. It was pretty much just got some steel wool in it. We'll flip it over, we'll get the back side. And do both sides. Okay, after scouring the pan, we'll go ahead and rinse it off with hot water. Get any more residue and soak and all that off of there. And we'll get ready for the next step. Now that the washing's done, let me turn this pin off so you can hear it better. 
Now that the washing is done, I just towel dried it real quick. We need to take this handle off. This handle unscrews. Just like that. It comes out. This wood pops off. By the way, this is a uh, Joyce Chin Brown. I don't know if I said that or not. This handle does not come off. So what we're going to do, hold just a second. We'll take a damp washcloth and we'll just wrap around this handle here. Let's see the best one. Do this. Hard to do it where you can see it good on the camera and I can just do what I need to do. All right, wrap that around there and then I'm gonna take some aluminum foil and put over that. This is just gonna keep this wooden handle from burning because what we're about to do is pop this sucker in the oven. Okay, let's just get that full around there, around the cloth, turn it up, a little more full there. So I got that wood completely encased in full, that way it's not going to burn or anything. Pan's dry, and we'll take some, let's see, some peanut oil, just going to put a few spritzes here inside, maybe a tablespoon or two. I just kind of made that little squirt bottle. I'm going to take a paper towel and just we'll rub this around just to coat the inside of the pan. Or the wok. I keep saying pan. I guess it's pan wok. Whatever. So we're just going to get a nice little coating here on the inside of the wok. Doesn't have to be too, too much. Just want to make sure you get every little piece. Let me pull it on the towel. Right there so I can see. Alright. Then I'm going to flip it over. Uh oh. We'll make sure it's dry. I see a little bit of water on that back side. We need to rub the back side down with oil as well. Pull this whole thing. Now that I got the wok coated, I've preheated my oven to 425. Put that duty upside down just like that. Give it a push. There she goes. And leave it in there for about 20 minutes. And I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I used peanut oil in there, refined peanut oil, and its smoke point is 450. So we got it right at 425. So we won't get that oil to smoke. We'll be 425, 20 minutes. So it's been 20 minutes. Let's see how the walk looks. Oh wow, look at that beautiful color it's taking on. That is great. I'm going to go ahead and get the walk out carefully and um, set it up top. You know, if I got the, the walk up top sitting on the burner, I'm going to go ahead and put the heat back to it. So what's going on in the burner there? And we'll go ahead and let that that oil and everything just sear on in here just for a minute. Let's see how the bottom of that wok's turning black. That's good. That's what I want to see. We'll go ahead and making sure we burn off any kind of coating or anything on there. I'm about to get some pliers so we can turn this thing on its side. Grab this guy with some pliers. I'm just going to kind of turn it to its side and get a good coat and good burning on on all that. Oh, by the way, let me make sure that this handle didn't catch a fire. Because it is hot. Whew. Wow. Ah. Yeah, that's steamy. That was almost the limit on that one. Look there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Couldn't let it go any longer. So I'm just going to kind of tilt this walk on the side and stuff like that and let, let the, uh, everything heat up evenly as far as the sides and middle and stuff. And what I'm doing here, I don't know if you can see in the camera, I'm heating the sides and everything until everything turns that kind of black dark brown color. I'm just slowly turn it and letting it heat. Okay, so I kept turning the, the walk here on the sides to blacken 
the edges there and I did that basically until my smoke alarm went off <laughs> so I've turned it off now I'm letting it cool down just a little bit I'm fixing to turn it back on to the next step. Next step is I just turn it back on, put it on medium. Now I'm going to take some more of this peanut oil, a little bit there in the center, let that heat up. Once that's heated up just a little bit, We'll add some ginger. Slice some ginger up here. Ginger. I'm also going to add. Oh gosh, I still have this on the floor. Some chives. What I'm going to do with this is just going to stir all this around. Act like you're using like a scrub brush. Just scrubbing this block. Imparts the flavor and also just seasoning. I mean, really seasoning the whole thing. So we'll keep scrubbing this around. So you see, you want to use one of these little lock. I call them lock shovels, but there's a name for them. I'm sure. I just found this in my Asian grocery store. So we can keep just scrubbing this all around. You know, all over the wall. I'll take a little piece of ginger and kind of get stuck on here and just really scrub and use it like it's a good scrub brush. I'm going to keep doing this, scrubbing the, the wok with this and just moving the oil around. I'm going to do this for about 15 minutes. While I'm doing this, I'm going to show you a little technique I found. If you can grab, like, push your little spatula into two of these piece of ginger and use them like little scrub brushes. Just really scrub the sides of the pan. Just really scrub the seasoning in there and get any kind of imperfections off or any kind of still that coating off there. I'm just using these just like a scrubber. So you're just using these like little scrub pads. You keep scrubbing this and scrubbing this. It's really getting a good coating on this pan and getting the bad stuff off. What you want to do with this We'll keep stirring around. You want to get it all up on the sides, and we're doing this till the chives really just turn black, black, black. And then that's going to help give us a little bit more patina or color. You know, just beautiful. So keep going on with this, just stirring it around, gives it this wonderful little coating. This is really nice. I tell you, very involved, but a nice little process. You know, with all these chives and burn up, I'm going to go ahead and kind of put some new ones in here in just a second. So now I'm going to put the last of uh, the green onions in there. And just let these go for the last little twig rod right here. Just a little bit more. Just a, we'll use these just to scrub this pan extra well. And this is just going to make sure that we have a good seasoning. I'm going to do these probably about 10 minutes. So now it's been a, another 10 minutes or so and I've blackened these uh, green onions on down these chives. And it's pretty much done, uh, at least for tonight. I mean, this is all you need to do. And actually, I went a little bit overboard. You didn't have to do two batches of the chives. And tomorrow, for here the next couple of days or so before I cook one, I plan on cooking some bacon here. They say bacon's are really, really good uh, to season your wok. So I'm going to wipe this out and we'll see what kind of finish we're left to. It looks really good. You know, of course, I'm just dumping this here in this side of the sink because it's disposed all here, but it's very important at this point, you do not want to get any water on your wok. You just want to wipe it out. Look at that. Wow. Get all that uh, onion out of there. Now we're going to wipe all the excess oil out. And that is a really beautiful, wow, naturally non-stick vessel here. I mean, look at this. It's great. Wipe the bottom off here. Oh, I did char the handle just a little bit. That's okay. Let's see how nice it had that patina. You know, just it's like something's just 
you know, 100 years old here I mean, with this beautiful, beautiful coating on here. And this is what's going to keep it to be a, a non stick surface. Like I said, I'm going to fry some bacon in this thing and, you know, just keep on adding to this. And you don't ever want to, um, to wash this thing off with a scrub brush or anything like that again. Actually, I have a little, I'll say a scrub brush, steel wool. I have a little scrub brush that I got from uh, Jeff, uh, Chinese Grocery. I'll have to show that to you. But I think I did a pretty good job for the first time. This walk looks very nice and seasoned. And we'll just have to see. I can't wait to cook my first dish in it. Appreciate it, y'all.